Well, we're gonna try this one. It looks really easy and delicious. You're gonna start out with a pound of Italian sausage, I guess. We need to get that open. Okay, and then we're gonna go with a pound of ground beef. So a uh, pound of the hot Italian sausage, pound of ground beef. Then I chopped up some jalapeno, right? Got that in there. All right, a little bit of fresh yellow onion, diced. You knew it was coming, but you just didn't know when. We're starting out there with the cheese. Eight ounces of the cream cheese, soft and room temperature. And some Kobe Jack cheese, right? Just a little bit, a little bit. My little bit is more than the extra little bit, because it's cheese. Now we're gonna go with some Sweet Baby Ray's. We're gonna go with, or whatever barbecue sauce I guess you want. I wanna use the Sweet Baby Ray's original. And uh, we're gonna go with one third of a cup. All right, all right, there it is, there it is. A little more. All right, there it is. All right, then we're gonna, I guess, go with some Slap Yo Mama uh, Cajun seasoning, or Slap Yo Mama, right? All right, let's get some of that in there. Next up, some garlic powder, I guess a couple teaspoons. Yeah, let's see, a little more, okay, that's about, that's about right. And we gotta go with some pepper. Put it all in there. It smells delicious, right? But now we need to go ahead and get all of this kind of mixed to combine, basically. Okay, so once you got it all mixed to combine, we're gonna just set that to the side. We're gonna grab a bake sheet, right? I guess. Get some uh, some wrap, right? We're gonna cover this like so on the baking sheet. Okay, now we need to grab a wire rack. You know, everyone should have one of them in their kitchen, right? Not. They're not that expensive. Like that, we're gonna pull back out the meat. We're gonna grab some of these, I guess. Some manicotti. Ain't been at this long. We're gonna use this whole box, right? And we're gonna take them. I see you. We're gonna take and we're gonna stuff these pack full like this. Get it all the way in so it's airtight. Okay, so once I got them looking like that right there, fully stuffed, airtight, all right? Now, we're gonna grab some bacon. Oh yeah, you knew it, bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? Uh, the manicotti, and we're just gonna go ahead, like so, we're just going to wrap them. All right, there they are. Check that out, right? Now, I guess we gotta grab a little bit of barbecue sauce, right, like so, and we're going to coat both sides, all right? Get that done. Okay, there they are, all barbecued up. Now I guess we gotta go 300 degrees, bake Fahrenheit for about an hour or so. Then I need to turn them, re-barbecue sauce them, and then put them in for another hour, 60, 70 minutes basically. So a few hours all together, all oven times can vary, but we need the manicotti to be cooked and all the meat to be cooked fully and the bacon to be crispy. We'll see what happens. It's been a couple hours, right? Here they are. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? And would you look at that right there? Oven bake shotgun shells? Hmm. And the bacon, you can make it as crispy as you want, keep it in longer. All the meat's cooked in there and the, um, the uh, pasta is soft, right? Bon appetit. Mm. <laughs> wow, with the beef and the hot tomato sauces. Wow. And yeah, the shell's done. Mm. Look at the inside. Fully cooked, wow, that, mm, wow. That's worth getting out there and making.